Okay, I'm going to do a GPS rescue and I'm going to let it come back without taking over and see what happens. Alright. So with this experiment, we have to start we have to launch it 50 meters away from us in case <laughs> it get crashed down okay so Justin is helping me to put the launching pad far away okay so it's quite far away now okay Right. Flight mode idle up one. Flight mode idle up one. Okay. Barrier I have to record on. the black box as Barrier well for this one. On. Okay, we have eight satellites now. Armed. Armed. And let's go. Sixteen point four volts. Okay, twenty five meters. Sixteen point two. To volts. home. 86 meters to home. Let's turn around and see whether the arrows actually follows my direction. Yes, it's pointing to the home direction roughly. Okay. So around here is 200 meters. Activate. High speed mode active. Alright, it's coming back. So what happens if I don't take control? Where's the pad? The launch pad. See? It overshot. Flight mode idle up one. It overshot. How come? Well, I think that's basically right where your launch pad was. Yeah, but it didn't come down. It was starting to come. Try one more time. Give it some more time. Okay, let's go again. I'll watch it with my eyes and I'll tell you if you should take over. Okay. Alright. High speed mode active. Okay, it's coming back. It's heading towards the launch pad. But it's not coming down. Flight mode idle up one. Yeah, it's like it circles and descends. Oh, okay, so it doesn't come down at 100 meters. It's come back, it comes back to the launch pad and then it circles and descends. Yeah, which is different than what I thought it would do. <laughs> ah. But if I just let it come down, it will just crash, right? I'll let, if you want, let it come a little lower and I'll let you know when to take over. Okay. Okay, one more time. 160, 180 meters. Okay, the GPS rescue active. with nine satellites. Now it's coming back. All right. Okay. Is it above? Light mode idle <laughs> engine. Off. Engine. Off. Oh, it goes to fail 
Okay, let's go see it. Let's go see it. So it landed. It didn't land, right? It crashed. Oh no. Yeah. You just broke these two screws holding on the canopy. Okay. So you didn't do anything there? I didn't do it. It got close, it, it hovered around, and then once it got to whatever that altitude was, it just killed and fell to the ground. Oh, okay. So, so it, that's that's what it does. So actually it, it's not really GPS rescue. It's just it's, when it comes back, if you don't take over, it will just drop. Yeah. It, it kind of loitered and got lower and lower and lower. I see. And then once it got to whatever that altitude was, you'll have to check your... Okay. Um, Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Well, so how low, how low was it before it started oh, it to drop? it was pretty low. I would say... 15 meters, maybe? Oh, okay. And then it... Um, we can actually look in my goggles all... Okay, so you saw what happened and it crashed, it just dropped from the sky after a few attempts to try to land it. Okay, damage report. I just had two of these plastic standoff that broke. Easily repaired, no problem. That's all, the rest is fine. My GPS is still intact. Everything is good. No major damages. Well, that was a good flight and at least we know that the GPS rescue doesn't really land, I mean, doesn't really come down or descend from uh, the minimum uh, descent distance. It comes to the, the hover point, uh, from your takeoff point and then it starts to circle. Maybe because I have set the throttle limit, the low hover limit too high. So that could be the reason why it couldn't descend fast, couldn't descend properly. Well, it was anyway, it's a good uh, experiment and I hope you like it. Bye-bye.